All right, everybody, Baron here, and welcome back to Totally Accurate Battle Simulator. So, Castle Black and the Wall are being under attack. Welcome to the custom battle. So, I'm going to do one myself here. I wanted to do one for Game of Thrones, since Game of Thrones is coming out tonight, and I am oh so excited after waiting two years since the last season. And very excited to see what happens. Now, keep in mind, there may be a spoiler, too, like that I might blurt out in my excitement while talking about Game of Thrones, so... Hey, you've been warned. Now what we have here is obviously we don't have the editor, right? I wanted to do one with like Daenerys and some dragons, but the Asian faction is coming in the next update or the big next content update. And we're going to get dragons for that, as you can see here. So leading this army is obviously Jon Snow. I decided to go with the king because he's the king of the north. And obviously he's got a dire wolf. And since there aren't really any animals other than maybe the minotaur and the mammoth, I decided to make Ghost, his dire wolf, a minotaur. Now he's got a few of his elite friends here as like captains of the Night's Watch. We've got a bunch of archers as well. And I decided to uh, put a ton of archers here on the wall itself. Now, if we ever get a map editor, I will be able to, like, make all of this stuff or have it made. And a unit editor as well. I've got a lot of plans, so I wanted to keep this one, you know, a little more simple using the units we have. Now, this is going to be led by the Night King. I've, I decided to go with the Jarl here. And I used the Viking Headbutters because I feel like they're the most likely to act like a white, a.k.a. a zombie of the Night King's army, the the White Walkers, right? So, because you got the Whites, which are kind of like mindless zombies. Then you have the Whites themselves, or excuse me, the White Walkers themselves, which are, um, you know, the same race, the others, right, as the Night King himself. So they actually use weapons and they're really good fighters. So we've got a few Berserkers here to indicate just their martial prowess as well. And obviously we have some spear throwers because you've seen the White Walkers throw some spears to some great effect. And naturally, we look at, look at this guy, he's so big. We've got um, some White Walker archers here, and they've got, they're the Frost Archers because they're gonna be turning people to ice left, right, center. It's going to be great. And then we've got, you know, the Night's Watch here. I've got two more custom battles coming up that were amazing that you guys voted for. Leave your custom battle suggestions in the comments below, and let's jump into Jon Snow's defense of Castle Black against the White Walkers. Now, as this is a huge battle, look at it from above. I'm able to stop time, which is really cool. It's a nice new function that we haven't had in the old tabs, but here we go. I'm gonna have to run it in slow motion at the beginning because we have huge amounts of forces. Look at the White Walkers jumping over here. I cannot wait for the unit editor. Like, there's gonna be unit editor, there's gonna be two different unit editors, possibly. The first one where you can just edit any unit using in-game assets. The second one, I would imagine, is where you can add your own assets. So, here we go. Check this out. So, we've got- I love the whites. Leaping forward with their heads, just like savagery. I feel like- I feel like the headbutters of the Viking faction are, in fact, the best to use. Ooh, the arrows are finding their mark. This guy looks like he got- oh, never mind. He got hit by two enemy arrows. We've got arrows coming in from both sides. It looks like everybody that was on the wall. Here we go. Let's stop time real quick. They jump, and after falling a certain uh, a certain distance, they die. This is definitely new. This is not like the old tabs. Although, this guy seemed to have survived somehow. Maybe he hit this ramp on the way down. I'm not sure. All right, back to it. So, I wonder how Ghost is doing. Where is Ghost? Ghost being the Minotaur. I feel like I hear him over here. Ghost! Where are you? Ghost is dead! Jon Snow's still fighting, and I obviously- I put in two priests, one is Melisandre, and then one is Tully, because I feel like they're- they're not very good warriors, but they're really good at supporting Jon Snow, so I felt like- and they would keep him in the battle a little bit longer, because look at Jon. Here we go. What's going- oh my gosh, Jon is hugging one of the whites here. One of the zombies, and it's just like, pushing him around. He's being healed by the Lord of Light here, which, um, spoiler alert, did happen. Oh, gosh! We've got the white- oh, my gosh. See, here's the thing. With the unit editor, you'll be allowed to make spear throwers, and their spears, you can make them turn people into ice as well. Arrows are finding their mark. Here's the Night King. So here we go. I want to see the Night King. Oh, versus Jon Snow and see who wins this. 
Luckily, <laughs> oh, this is perfect. All right, John, you just can't die, man. You know, you're one of the favorites of all of us, I believe. Here's the thing, who's your favorite Game of Thrones character? It's difficult, and for me, it like ranges, but obviously I think the big three are what? Daenerys, Jon Snow, and Tyrion, which is fun to like see the story arcs that the different characters have, you know, and that just goes to show you like good storytelling. When a character like you may hate at the beginning and then start to really, really like, which I feel like Jamie Lannister is having a really interesting story. How did he do that? Jon Snow's still alive. Hopefully he doesn't turn to ice. See, what I would love to do is like make a unit mod where when you turn them to ice, they actually turn to your side. Oh, shot to the head. Whoever fired that show was perfectly on target. So here we go. It looks like Jon Snow and the Night's Watch are victorious. Clearly, but like, how many foot soldiers are left alive? Only three? That's not a lot. A lot of brave men died. So after Jon Snow was able to repel the first attack by the Night King, it allowed Daenerys' Unsullied to reinforce it. And I felt like the Cerys and Pikemen were pretty good examples. I was torn between the Hoplites, which have shields and spears, and then the big long pikemen, and I just felt like, you know, the pikemen kind of looked bit better in formation as to like what the Unsullied would do. <laughs> Look at this, I mean, the, you gotta remember, the Night's Watch does have like young boys, you know, in the castles as well, operating as stewards, but in a battle scenario where every man must be used to help defend, they would have the younger boys out there probably fighting for their lives as well. And I figured, hey, Jon Snow, Melisandre. I said Tully earlier, but I meant Samuel Tarly. We've got Ghost, his dire wolf. And then I and I realized we don't have the free folk in here. So I've got Tormund, Tormund Giant's Bane here. And then some of the free folk. And I made them... I thought about using clubbers, but I was like, no, they're a little bit better armed in like that. So I've, I've felt with uh, the Viking brawlers here. And they're not really in a formation, which does kind of fit it. They're just kind of like loosely packed. Then I decided, you know what? It makes more sense that the whites would be spread out more. And the Night King is a king, so he should be a king. We've got the spear throwers. We've got the white walker warriors. And then we've got the frost archers here. I decided to go with a little bit less here. All right. The battle lines are drawn. The reinforcing Unsullied from Daenerys Stormborn. We've got the Free Folk, we've got Tormund, we've got Ghost as the Minotaur, which we didn't get to see too much. The Whites are already jumping into the fray. The White Walkers following shortly behind them. Jon is doing his best. He has found himself at the very center of combat. Oh, brave Jon. You're making House Stark proud, boy. Well, I guess a couple of houses, really, if you think about it. Not gonna go into it. But I'm sure many of you have seen Game of Thrones by now. Some of you haven't. You gotta check it out. It's like some of the best television ever. If you like fantasy. Alright, so Jon Snow is just ripping people up. He is being held, but it looks like Samwell might go down. Melisandre, I don't know where she went. Uh, she was kicked out after all. So maybe, you know, maybe she just kind of took her talents down to the south beaches of Dorne and got the heck out of there. <laughs> Look at this berserker totally missed his shot. And Samwell, who's now... Oh, did... Samuel just took out a white! That was impressive! I don't think he intended to do it, and I didn't think Priest could actually fight, but he kind of, like, was falling, and the physics managed to take him out. <laughs> Look at Ghost! Ghost is ripping up the enemy. Okay, so we still have some of the White Walker spear throwers in the action, and the Night King himself is just walking around and dispatching units. Now, this is going to be interesting to see how he goes up against a bunch of archers, because I would imagine that these arrows are... Dragonstone tip using all of the dragon glass that mine that they mined on the island of Dragonstone here. So the arrows are hitting him. Ooh, spears are coming in. Heads up, boys! Oh my gosh! Speaking of heads up, that guy got absolutely wrecked in the head. So this is gonna be interesting because it looks like the White Walkers. Oh my gosh, the White Walkers have a lot more. We're gonna have to figure out. Oh, that guy had no chance. He's poor. Like, look at it. Oh, he's going around just like, just like, oh, just taking him out. Incoming! Dude, I want it. Oh god, that doesn't look good. Right through the neck. Poor John is getting frozen here. We're gonna have to get a priest of the the Lord of Light here to bring him back because, guys, John Snow can't die again, right? All right, so clearly 
To defend Castle Black the second time, or rather this third time, he's gonna have to regroup. So here we go. Now let's go with Jamie Lannister is joining, right? So he brought with him, and this is gonna sound funny, some of the Lannister pikemen. And we are gonna make the unsullied... <laughs> we are gonna make the unsullied... You know, the uh, hoplite-like warriors where they do have their shields, although they're a little bit bigger and their spears might be a little bit shorter than what they would have had. Without a unit editor, this is the best we can do. So a little bit more of reinforcements. All right, so what I did was I also added a giant. Now, he's not super big, but we put a Jarl in there for him. We added a few more whites here, and this is awesome. See, this is the best part about it all. Like, look at this. This is where, like, I love tabs because it sets my imagination on fire. With a map editor, with a unit editor, we could actually recreate pretty much any battle from any movie and any TV series we want. I obviously want to do Game of Thrones, Lord of the Rings, all kinds of stuff. But, like, look at this. There's the white, the first White Walker jumping in to the unsullied lines and just dispatching him. He actually got hit with a friendly frost arrow, but it makes him look like a true White Walker right now. I wish you could, like, change their colors. So, since there's a lot of units, we're gonna have to go with slow motion here. And the enemies... Oh, gosh. The enemies of the free people. The war of the dead versus the living. It looks like this is definitely favoring the dead right now. The Unsullied are not doing as good as I would have hoped. They're supposed to be some of the best warriors. They're what, the second best warriors after the Golden Company? Or at least they're the best, second best mercenary group. Technically, they're mercenaries before they decided, Hey, you know what? This Daenerys girl, she freed us. She's going places. We're going to serve her forever. Oh, gosh. The Night King just took out Ghost, it looked like. Poor Ghost. Ghost, are you down and out? I have bad news. Your and my favorite direwolf is now down. One of these brave Lannister pikemen is trying to take on the Night King with- with- Oh, there's Torment! Come on, Torment! Don't die, Torment! Oh, Torment goes down. Oh, man, I, I just realized, like, I wish we could, like, incorporate, like, the Hound and Thoros of Mir. Oh, arrow to the back. That's not good. That was a little bit of friendly fire. That's just classic tabs for you boys. All right, arrows finding the Night King's rib cage. He's just taken that guy out, or at least knocked him over, spilled him over. This isn't looking good either. Hmm, I think I have a solution. Instead of a giant, as a Jarl in place of the giant, I figured, you know what? If there was a giant left over, we're gonna pull one in here for fun because we're recreating our own battle. This isn't a truly, this isn't a totally accurate, totally accurate battle for Winterfell. This is kind of like if they could have defended the wall against the White Walkers and they decided for some reason to parade out front as an army and then do it. See, that's just totally accurate. So we're gonna put the mammoth in and I feel like, you know what? We saw the power of the mammoth shield. If you haven't seen that video, check it out. And we have the pikemen and the swordmen as units that did so well in our tabs tournament. Make sure to check out that video as well. And I feel like the mammoth here, big boy himself, the biggest, the baddest, the most expensive unit, the number one seed from the tabs tournament. He's going to be able to do a lot here to really help out the army of the living, I think. And you know what? If somebody could take out the Night King, that would be good. It looks like he may have just taken out Jamie Lannister, or at least spilled him over. We got this white, like, basically eating this knight. <laughs> Look at him. His sword is buried. <laughs> oh, no, that does not feel good. He's getting eaten alive in front of us. Somebody save this man. Oh, my gosh. Did he? He, he killed the white, and he's still alive. And Jon Snow. Oh, Jon's getting, Jon's getting stabbed by his own forces again. Look at that. Arrows from friendly units, arrows from enemy units, but the Night King is down. That is massive. Just like that mammoth over here. Ooh, that arrow almost hit friendly forces. It did not. We actually have Samuel Tarly and Melisandre still up right now at this point in the battle. Look at this. There are some Unsullied still up, including... What happened to this man's head? Look, that's not how you're supposed to hold your shield or your spear. His spear is behind his head, and his shield is above his head. So even though he's got this beautiful brass armor here, as like would fit a hoplite. Oh, dude, you're supposed to, you're supposed to hold your shield a little bit different there, buddy. What? How did? He just threw that from the grave, I think. It's not gonna hit anybody. And here comes Jon Snow to dispatch some more White Walkers. Do it! 
do with your Valy Valyrian steel sword, my brother? Take them out. Oh my gosh, that body, John, that, that unsullied warrior threw himself in front of the arrows and saved Jon Snow for just a little bit more because Jon has been, been gifted with destiny and great purpose. He must defeat the Night King. The mammoth here acting as our giant is doing fantastic. I just realized I cannot wait to put in giant units in the game because the army of the dead also had some giants. That would have been cool. We could have put some more Jarls in for them, but Jarls aren't as thematic because they're not as big. So here's John and company taking out the last of the Whites, and here we go. One last White Walker archer armed with ice magic here, but it is no use as he's getting tossed. And who's going to get the last hit? Is it going to be John or is it going to be the Mammoth? John's kicking him. Come on, John. And it looked like the Mammoth took him out. Ladies and gentlemen, the living will be able to live for at least a few more days till the Night King returns. Now let's jump into some custom battles. All right, so this custom battle suggestion comes in from Herbie Plays. Now this is the battle of the best YouTubers, which is so fitting because yesterday we released a Baron vs. Blitz multiplayer video on the channel where we actually got to do what is like our attempt at multiplayer, which was pretty cool because we were able to play on the same game using a, a third party app. Now. The Battle of the Best YouTubers by Herbie Plays, which got over 200 votes for it. I'm the knight. I've got squires, spear throwers, including this guy who had some, like, shamanistic magic, I guess, shrink his head. We've got potion sellers and two wheelbarrow men, and I'm the knight. And this is perfect because Blitz is the Jarl, and he lives in what? Like the far north, North Dakota, Minnesota, something like that, where all the Vikings immigrated to. He's got some hoplites as his warriors versus my squires. He's got some archers instead of spear throwers, and he's got snake archers instead of potion throwers. So this is gonna be really interesting to see who wins this one. We'll do a little bit of a best out of three. Man, those archers absolutely ripped up my lines. I might have to switch from these swordsmen, oh gosh, I'm already dead. I've gotta be the king, I've got a solution. I think I know how we do it. However, my spear throwers are doing pretty good, but they're getting taken out. <laughs> Blitz is riding the wheelbarrow right now. He used it to get around, and look at this. Oh, this big boy here, he got taken out. He's kind of large. So he's kind of like a giant. Okay, it looks like the forces of Baron have lost round one and my last spear thrower goes down. Now I felt it only fitting that since I voice the king, I'm, a, I'm actually the dude who makes the noises for the king. I felt it appropriate that I would be the king. All right, so none of those spears really found their mark. We have a few of the potion finding their mark, but I think both of our potion guys have either been taken out by snakes or enemy arrows. My wheel- wheelbarrow- I almost said the wheelchair. My wheelbarrow warrior is still alive. I'm still alive, which is good news for me. Come on. Take him out! Use the Zweihander! Enslay the enemy forces! Alright, Blitz is down and some of his elite warriors are as well. Now, luckily for me, this wheelbarrow guy is still going so he can distract the enemy archers. Which is always good news. Now, I got hit by friendly potions, so that's not good. I'm gonna have to get so many of these archers and hope that there's a little bit of friendly fire. They kind of lined up and one of the archers did go down to friendly fire. So, look at this, man. I'm not feeling too good, but the arrows aren't in any critical organs. One just got blocked by my sword, actually. So I'm using my giant sword as a shield, but it's not good enough. And we got taken out. We've made, instead of elite hoplites, he's got pikemen. Can we do it? Oh, those arrows flying between their lines. Here we go. Here come the incoming spears, which should do a little bit more damage and have a little bit of punch. So when the lines meet, it's a little bit more fair, I think, because we've got to come out with a victory. Baron's army must be victorious. We may have lost the battle, but we will not lose the war, old boys. All right, come on. Weird, look at this. He's stuck pushing the snake archer into the ground. I don't think I've ever seen this before. Like, look at this. He's slowly getting run over now. Now, oh, the driver of that got taken out, but look at this. We've got spears barely missing this archer. That archer barely missing that squire. Arrows coming in, hitting this guy in the gonads. It's got to be painful. Am I down? Oh, gosh. I think I, I am dead. I am dead right now. We only have a few more guys left. Those snakes from the snake archer are really good. But as long as this guy's alive and distracting these archers, I think we've got a pretty good chance. One of the apples found its mark, and you know what? Just a few, a few good spear boys, some potions, and one farmer's wheelbarrow, which I think is one of the most underappreciated units in the game. Come on. He's only got two archers left. 
but we only have two units. All right, one of them just got rolled over. Now, this spear thrower, wait a minute, where is he looking? Oh, one of the archers is still up. Look at that, brilliant hit. Fire your spear, I know there's a snake at your feet. You gotta do it, you both suck. I didn't know one of you was still alive, but I guess you are getting attacked by snakes. Come on, you've gotta do it for your tribe. Incoming arrow, where did that, where's that arrow going? He missed. You've got to throw your spear, and you've got to find the target. Do it! Do it, my warrior! Brilliant! Okay, we've got a snake archer still up until he just got plowed and maybe potentially pitchforked. There is the snake still up. Pitchfork boy! Do it! Smash the snake archer! Yes! We lost our first battles, but we won. The best of YouTubers war by Herbie Plays. So this battle comes in from Epic Pig. This is the Battle of Guagamela, which was part of Alexander's grand campaign where he conquered much of the known world at the time. So the Persians are in blue. They've got 25 squires, 35 archers, 10 knights, one king, and the king is... Who's, who's the Persian king? I feel like he was probably named Xerxes. The Greeks or the Macedonians, rather, are comprised of 30 Saracens. We've got them in little phalanx formations, and in between are the hoplites. Then we've got King Alexander himself. He put himself on the flank. He, he always liked doing hammer and anvil tactics, so I figured he'd be on the flank since we don't have any cavalry. It was a proper formation. And then we've got 20 archers. All right, so these battles are now possible mainly due to the fact that we finally have hoplites and pikemen, which are just really good foundational units to use. Oh my gosh, look how many of these guys actually died. It's surprising how these hoplites aren't the best at blocking arrows. You think they would be. These ones on the flank here didn't do too well. So now the main contingent of the Persian and Macedonian formations have met. However, these Persian knights are pretty beastly with their shields and very good armor. These were interesting additions, so I'd actually give the credit, probably, i give the edge to the Persian forces. Although they shouldn't, in terms of like, I felt like more of the hoplite should have blocked more of those arrows, but maybe if you could increase their skill, or something like that. Look how many arrows are hitting off these shields. So there's Alexander the Great, watch out! The Persian king is behind you! Alexander, you can't go down like this! Oh my gosh, they got stuck. It looks like... The Persian king stole Alexander the Great's sword? Oh my gosh, these, these brave pikemen are coming in, but it does not look like this is going to fare well for Alexander the Great. Oh, hold on. The Persian king is down, but there's definitely a lot more Persian archers. Their arrows are, I wouldn't say blotting out the sun, but they're doing far better. All right, so what we did was we took out a few of the knights here, and one of my favorite moments is, look at this. Look at these arrows passing in battle, and now that we can stop time... Shoo, and in slow motion, look at this. The Battle of Guagamela. Colorized. What year was the Battle of Guagamela? That- I would love if we- if you guys do historical battles, please theme them like that. The Battle of Guagamela. Colorized. Year like, I don't know what it would have been. It's definitely BC, right? A thousand BC, or... 1800 BZ or whatever it was that would be so cool because then we can get these screenshots and I can like show them on Twitter or something So you guys have an idea of what custom battles are coming. Look at this pikeman. He got knocked out by a shield You got to think that like this knight he's actually dual wielding because he's got that shield and the sword man It's fun when they wince they take arrows now. Where's Alexander the Great? Here's Alexander the Great the Persian King is right here we're gonna go to real time here and see how he deals against it. And it looks like oh, I thought I thought Alexander immediately got taken out. He is slain the Persian king. Oh man, look at these arrows finding their marks for both teams. The difference is oh, there's more units I think for the uh, Greeks. So there's gonna be a lot more arrow sponging by the king here. Alexander is is doing his best to save. So I'm hoping. Uh-oh. I still think there's more Persian archers. Was the Battle of Guagamela the one where the... Oh, I guess if this was against the Persians, the Persians didn't have war elephants, right? That was when he got into the Indian campaign. Anyway, guys, thank you once again for watching an epic battle of Totally Accurate Battles Simulator. I've made a cool new channel for epic battles. Uh, make sure to click 
there I've got a I'm a, I have a link I'll probably put it in the comments right now it's a passion project that uh, myself and some of these guys I've paired up with some very talented animators and illustrators um, anyway leave me your custom battle suggestions for tabs happy Sunday it's Game of Thrones day I cannot wait I'll probably watch it twice honestly I, I think I will because it's I've been waiting two years for this anyway Thanks for watching. Leave me historical battles as like colorized year whatever. That would be really fun. Um, as like a, a fun cultural meme here on the channel with us, Baron's Brigade. And then also any Game of Thrones, Lord of the Rings, any movies or fantasy battles that you'd love to see in Totally Accurate Battle Simulator. And I'll see you guys in the next one when I can learn to talk again. Bye bye